Let's get it. What's going on guys? Smash that like button because I got a fast and easy Premiere Pro tutorial for you guys right now. Let's do it. It's getting lit. We got Matso in the back. He's just finishing up an edit. I'm up here looking like Han Solo with my leather on. Chewie and I are about to take this Millennium Falcon into hyperdrive. We're sitting in an RV just shooting this video for you. This is the office for the day. I hope you enjoyed that intro. That was a quick little couple snippets, a couple good bits from Matt and I in Venice just checking out a drum circle. We thought it was hilarious. Thought I'd throw it at the beginning of this video. But that's not important. What is important is this tutorial. Let's get into it. I'm going to give you guys five tips on how to edit and make your stuff look sexy. And once you know these five tips, you're going to be dangerous. You're going to be making videos like freaking Jay Alvarez. So let's get into it. I'm going to do a little screen share and we might pop back and forth. I don't know yet. So let's get into it. Okay, guys. First thing you want to do is you want to open up your editing program, whether it's Premiere Pro or Final Cut or whatever. You need to get some clips into your place that you do your editing okay so I threw four clips of Matt right here you can probably hear Matt in the background moving around oh, <laughs> it's cool so I've got these four clips I'll just scroll over them you can see Matt skating another one of them skating me just like looking at myself god I'm so vain and then we got some more skating more skating Actually, we got five clips. Can't count for shit. So, we're going to turn this thing into the masterpiece. First thing you want to do is trim down the fat. Okay, so we got five clips in here. Not all of this is going to be legit. And oh, by the way, you guys could probably see these clips to the left. This is just the beginning edit that you guys saw at the beginning of this video. So, we're going to make one of those. So, first thing we're going to do is do some trimming. We're going to watch these clips together and we're going to trim the freaking fat. So, let's do it. Okay, shaky camera work, shaky camera work. We're just gonna cut all that. So to cut that shaky camera work out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press C to get the razor tool in Premiere Pro. Final Cut, I don't know how to do it, but figure out how to cut shit in Final Cut or if you're in iMovie, I'm sure you could figure out how to do it. So we're gonna cut and the thinking behind, the logic behind cutting that this fat right here is look it's shaking shit the camera's all over the place we want smooth buttery shots so let's get rid of this shit and we got that oh Matt's doing like a little ollie thing that's kind of cool so now we're going to cut again razor tool and by the way switching between the razor tool and just the selector tool the selector tool is v so look at that it makes it turn into a cursor if we want to make it a razor tool and cut shit up c you can probably hear Matt crunching in the background. <laughs> He's eating some cereal. He's watching this. He just learned something too. Oh my, god. oh my god. Oh my god. Where do I find out? Hey, you want to be my Chewy? <laughs> <laughs> so, here's what we got to do. So, I'm excited. We like this. I like this little clip right here. Matt's skating. So, right, he, he's still going. Ah, but it's, ah. Okay, cool. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to get that razor tour, click and see. We're going to cut it. See how it looks like a razor? We're going to cut it right here. So now let's slide that over to the left a little bit because we like that guy. Cool. So now you can see it's separated. We got this clip right there. Boom. Now let's go right here. Let's see right here. He's he's pushing. That's really not that interesting when a guy's just kick pushing. If you notice in skate videos, you'll never see clips of them or you won't see too many clips of them actually pushing. You'll see the trick part or like the, you know, the steezy part. Okay, now we're doing some turns, but his head's not in focus, so I don't like this clip yet. Okay, now I like this. This is getting in frame. Look at, we can see his head. We see what's in front of him. So we just cut it right there. We're gonna trim that fat. Boom, slide this guy over to the left. Let's see what we got. Okay, oh, here's another tip for you guys. On your computer, you've got a plus and a minus. This is just in Premiere Pro, but if you click the plus, it's gonna zoom in on the clip like this see now you can see more of the clip and then your cuts can get a little bit more precise if you press the minus it zooms it out so you can see all of your clips in the editing bay so I want to cut this down so I just zoomed in by pressing plus so I don't want to get him kick pushing on the skate so I'm going to cut it right there again I press C to get to that razor clicking V to exit out of the razor deleting that shit and so now we've got two legit clips over here to the right. And just for the sake of time, I'm going to couple, cut a couple more clips up for you guys. And then we're going to fast forward. And I'm going to catch you in the next part. So let me cut those up really fast. Yeah. All right, guys. So you guys still with me? Perfect. So we've got 
some clips, some good cuts, like the best bits right here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six clips that I like. But there's an issue. Can you tell what it is? It's that audio. This There's not going to be talking any talking in this. This is going to be like a Jay Alvarez video, but for skating. <laughs> and Matt's the star. Yeah. What's up, Matt? So, hey, Jeff. what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that audio really fast. So the way you do that in Premiere Pro, at least, is you select all the clips, click Command L, and that is going to separate the audio from the actual clips. And then I'm just going to select the audio parts and delete the shit out of those. So now look at we can listen to it. I, I mean, we can watch it and there is no sound. So nice. Perfect. So let's add some music too. Like, so let's go into iTunes and find a song. So it looks like it's just, we're having fun. The sun, it's sunset. We're cruising through Venice. Matt's skating all over the place. We're having fun. So based on the vibe, let's make that vibe come out even more. So we're not going to use, it wouldn't make sense if we use something like, you know, something like this or like Spanish music. I love this kind of stuff, but we're not, you know, eating tacos. We're not down in Mexico. So it just wouldn't really go. And it's a little bit too upbeat for what we're looking for. We're looking for kind of a chill vibe. And just so you guys know, I like to use chilled out music in most of my stuff. So as you can see, I've got happy chill vibes, hype up chill vibes, jazzy chill vibes, rainy day chill. So as you can see, if we were to try to throw some rainy day chill on it, it's just, it's a little too moody, like, cause Matt's skating around at sunset. It's kind of, we need a happy chill vibe for that. So let's find one. How about this? Kira Weathers, you gotta be. Remix, baby. This player. Oh! Doesn't that just fit perfectly? Okay, let's throw it in there. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drag it. No. Oh. I am literally just gonna drag it into iMovie. I mean, excuse me, Premiere Pro. So, we dragged it in. Let's play it a little bit. Cool. So now we got some good vibe music. That's step two. Step three is we're going to add slow-mo. A big tip to making some cinematic shit is put everything in slow-mo. <laughs> Simple as that. So what I'm going to do to do slow-mo, you just got to select a click by clicking on it. Again, make sure you've got the selector tool by clicking V just so you've got that arrow pointer tool. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to press command R for retiming the clip and we're gonna make it 50%. So command R, 50%. Okay, cool. So now you can see that slow-mo. Boom. So I'm gonna do that with all these clips really fast. Apple R, or excuse me, command R, 50%. Command R, 50%. Command R, 50%. Command R, 50%. I'm gonna make some more room. And then Command R, 50%. So we've got all of our clips in slow-mo right now. Guys, you seeing this come together? So now I'm just going to get rid of the dead space between the clips. So an easy way to do that is just click between them and when you see that highlighted white area, just delete, zoom in. If you want with the plus tool, boom, and get rid of that dead space. Boom, look at that. We're making this video together. How fun is this? Huh. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now we got all of our clips lined up. Let's watch what we got so far. Listen as your day unfolds, challenge what the future holds. Try and keep your head up to the sky. Lovers, they may cause you tears. Go ahead and release your feet. Pretty sexy, right? How fast, like, look, we did that in a couple minutes, and, I mean, this, honestly, all of those steps right there, 
trimming down the fat, adding some music, adding some slow-mo. You could literally do that in a minute or two once you get fast at it. I just, it took me a while to explain it just because I'm trying to teach you guys this stuff. But, I mean, now you know how to do it. Just practice and you'll get good. All right, guys, so now let's sexy it up. Let's make it, let's bring it on home and add maybe an intro, you know, where it fades from black into matte skating. That'd be kind of cinematic and sexy. So the way to do that is click effects and then over here on the right, see how it says effects? We're gonna, t oh, you know what? Perfect, video transitions. Click right here. I like to use dissolve dip to black. So all we're gonna do is here, I'm gonna make sure. Oh, here's that clip right here. We're just literally gonna drag it onto the beginning of that clip. So check this out. Oh, how sexy is that? And since the music takes a while to fade in, we're gonna make, we're just gonna double click on that transition and let's make it maybe, let's make it three seconds. So it lasts just as long as the fade in on the music. How sexy was that? Perfect. So you got a transition. You know what, really fast, I'm gonna add one of those to the very end just to make it kind of cinematic. So again, going back to effects, I'm gonna get over to that clip. Perfect, ending clip right here. I'm gonna throw dip to black on it. Okay. All right guys, so the last thing we gotta do is we gotta add a title to this. So some people put titles in the front. I like to put them in the back to remind people to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, whatever. So let's, um, let's make a little title. Click on effects, scroll down over here, click on the thing that says new item. The item we're gonna add is a title and we are, you can just name it whatever you want, press OK, and let's click in here and say, and you can write whatever you want, so I'm gonna write smash that like button. Cool, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this cursor up here so that I can move the title around and center it, perfect. Cool, and I'm just gonna save and exit out of this guy, so Perfect, now we could find that title over here. And I'm gonna have to scroll. So guys, my uh, editing bay is really small over here just because I'm recording this, um, the screen share on my computer and so it's not giving me too much room to record. But all you have to do is bring that title slide you just made, so I just made title two, and slide it into your editing bay. Perfect, so let's go back to editing. I like to do most of my stuff in editing and let's slide this ending slide over here and let's see what that looks like. Boom! All right guys, so we just trimmed down the fat, we added music, we added slow-mo, we added transitions, and we added titles. Now all we gotta do is check out our mini movie. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click up here into the player window and let's watch it full screen. So the way you do that is you look to find where the ask button is, the escape button in the upper left hand corner of your keyboard. The button right below it has two squiggles on it. The top squiggle looks like what goes above in a Spanish N, like an NEA. So click on that guy and boom, we're full screen. So let's watch our mini movie, let's do it. Smash that like button. Oh! See so guys, look how easy that is. We just banged that out in literally five minutes as the sun went down. Super easy, right? Now there's things that we could do to take this to the next level. We could cut to music, we can add jump cuts, we can add color grading. Let me know in the comments below if you like this video, like the video of course, smash that like button for me, and then also let me know if you guys would like a color grading video or if you'd like um, a cutting to music tutorial or just let me know what you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me some love down below. Let me know what you think. Smash that like button and I'll see you tomorrow with another vlog. Talk to you soon. Bye.